Today I'm gonna to show you the quickest and most effective way to get your keywords for your PPC, for your Amazon listing in a foreign language, in a language where you don't understand the word and you have no real way of saying, okay, this keyword is actually relevant for my product. But as you know, relevancy is everything in the ads game, in Amazon as well, in general. So you really wanna go for those relevant keywords also in a foreign marketplace. But how do you do that? Well, I'm gonna show you that in this video. And by the way, if you wanna find out more stuff about Amazon PPC in general, stick around with this channel and subscribe to not miss out on future videos as well. So let me get into it now. I'm gonna go for a product that I've been looking at myself recently, and that is a TV holder for the wall, right? And I'm gonna check what that means. Why is that in Danish? I don't know. But anyway, I'm gonna check what that means in Italian. And I'm gonna to try to research all kinds of relevant keywords for my TV holder that I wanna sell in Amazon Italy. So then, first step is go to my favorite translator, which is Deeple, which is a lot better than the Google translator if you don't know it yet. Then I take the basic keyword that I find out and I go to that niche. All right then. Now the second step is to identify the product category that most fits my product. So I look at those products that, I, that show up and let's say I have something similar to this piece, something that I can put into the wall. So this is actually exactly what I am selling for the sake of it, and this is the category that I want to have a look at. So again, I'm going to go right to the category here via my Helium 10 extension, which neatly shows those product categories right away. And I'm going to have a look at all the products that show up here. So then, in this particular case right now, it seems like all these products are very similar, right? So in this case, it will be a little bit easier, presumably. But in general, you will only want to pick the ASINs, the products that are truly relevant to your product, that are truly a substitute, a real competitor of your product. So in this case, as they're all very similar, I might actually have a closer look at the pricing so as to differentiate between them perhaps you know one of them is very cheaply made one of them is maybe only for small tvs in some way and another one is more expensive perhaps for very large tvs maybe that's not what i'm selling so in this case i'm just going to go for the asins in a medium price range 20 euros more or less let's say that's what i'm selling and i'm going to take these asins and i'm going to go to cerebro that is pretty much the, in my opinion, by far best tool that Helium 10 offers. And I'm going to take these ASINs of those 20 euros TV holders. And I'm going to enter them one by one. You can enter up to 10. And I would recommend to use all of those 10 slots. I'm gonna tell you why later, but that is kind of important when it comes to actually identifying only the highly relevant keywords. And it's another one I'm gonna take. And probably you are going to want to fast forward this part of the video, but I'm going to not cut it so as to tell you how fast I'm actually doing this in real life, right? Okay, then here's another one I'm gonna, no, that's actually too expensive. Then let's see, where are the cheap, the medium ones? Here's another medium one, 19 euros. Let's take that. And that one as well. So 
phase four. Alright, I have my ASINs, and now this is where the fun starts. I typically only use the exact ASIN, otherwise it would also pull the keywords of any variations of those ASINs, which then might not be relevant again. So let's only get the ASINs of those exact ASINs. Let's only get the keywords of those exact ASINs that I pulled in here. And so now what it does it's going to pull all the keywords for which these ASINs are ranking on the first 10 pages, I believe, on Amazon. And so typically you will get a very large list. I'm gonna guess around 10,000 keywords. Oh yeah, 11,000 keywords for all of those ASINs. And now the tricky part comes to filter that down to the highly relevant ones, the ones that you really want to show up for with your product. Okay, and there's basically free filters, free magic filters that Helium 10 offers, which will help you with that. And the first and most important one is the ranking competitors one. Now I'm going to go with five for a start. And what this does basically it will filter down those keywords to only those keywords for which at least five of those competitor ASINs are ranking on those 10 pages. So already alone with that step, I can almost guarantee that all of these keywords now are somewhat relevant. And actually I'm just realizing and I did that in Germany. <laughs> so apparently all of these ASINs are also selling in Germany and I'm getting a lot of relevant German TV holder keywords, but um, let me just do it in Italy because that is what I initially planned to do, right? And that's actually a cool thing if you're doing research for all marketplaces, you don't, you don't have to change the ASINs, right? You can then copy the, the keywords that you just researched in German and then go to the next marketplace and work on that, by the way. Okay, so let's just go through that step again. Let's take those five, minimum five ASINs that we want those keywords to rank for. Just to remove my lamp here a little bit because I'm not seeing that apply button. Okay, so again, it has brought those keywords down to 1,600 now. Didn't see what was there before, but probably a lot more. And now I'm only seeing keywords for which at least five of those ASINs are ranking on those top 10 pages, let's say. So already it kind of is a guarantee that these are somewhat relevant, right? But to be absolutely sure that they're relevant, I'm gonna use this second filter, which is competitor rank average. And I only want those ASINs to have an average rank of one to let's say 30. So they're more or less on the first page of the search results. And what that means is they are actually getting significant amounts of sales for those keywords because otherwise, if you know the Amazon algorithm, they would not be showing up on page one for those keywords, right? They needed sales via those keywords. Otherwise they would not be on these in these positions for those keywords and it's not just one of those ASINs that's on these positions but it's at least five of them right so we are really pretty much guaranteeing those keywords are highly relevant for that particular product that I'm selling because the exact same ASINs the exact substitutes of my product are ranking so well for those keywords and now the final filter I like to use is search volume. Now, typically I go for 50, let's say, just as a start and see if I, see if I can bring that down a little bit more. But um, 50 per month, obviously still not that much, 
but let's just see how much that does in Italy. Not too much yet. Let me just go through a little bit here. What do we have? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go for 100 instead, perhaps. I mean, this will be different in each marketplace, right? In another marketplace, perhaps Netherlands or Poland, very new. Um, in Europe, you might have to be happy with 50. But here, let's go with minimum 100 search volume. And these are now pretty much the keywords that I will go for. If I wanted to be absolutely sure of the relevance, I might you know, decrease that number a little bit so they're perhaps even ranking in the top 10 positions. Or I might increase that number a little bit. So basically, perhaps seven or eight of those ASINs are ranking for those keywords at least. So those are things I might be you know, using to fine tune that list of keywords even more. But like I said, uh, this already should truly guarantee those keywords are highly relevant for my product. And so typically I'm just gonna go here export and I'm going to copy them to my clipboard and then typically to my Google Sheet keyword list for that product. And of course, later on, also use them in PPC, target those right away with phrase campaigns, with broad campaigns, with exact campaigns. There's no need to, you know, wait for automatic campaigns to pull those in. That's the beauty of keyword research. That's the beauty of our age of time. We don't need Amazon automatic campaigns that much anymore. We don't have to spend as much to research keywords, right? Still use automatic campaigns simply because they will keep finding new relevant search terms and they will also have you appear, you know, in various other places, listing pages, etc. But kind of the main goal that they used to have, which is keyword research, especially in the start of a new product, that's kind of gone because you can just go right away to the manual campaigns with the help of tools like this and target highly relevant keywords. But before I forget, there's actually one more step that you should do, and that is go through the words that actually show up here. So especially the ones that you know show up a lot, you want to make sure that they're actually relevant. And if they're not, well, take them out. For example, Samsung, well, I'm not selling Samsung. So that is a word that is in seven of those keywords. So I'm gonna have to definitely take that one out. Um, so let's just exclude Samsung here. And then let's have a look at those other ones. LG, I'm also not LG. Let's exclude that one. Televisore, sounds correct, obviously. Braccio, I have no idea. Appendi, probably good. But if you're unsure about any of those, and especially the, the ones that you know appear a lot, policy, I don't know, stuff up. So I would probably you know check those words just to be sure that they're relevant. Let's see what Muro is. Oh, uh, Italian, where is it? wall yes exactly so i only want i'm selling my product to be hanging on the wall parete let's just see what parete is and so that is another kind of step as well okay also wall i would do just to make sure these words are actually relevant the mini sony mini sony let's see what that is mini sony might be a brand so that would be a scenario where I would also quickly have a look at what kind of products actually show up on Amazon for that term, Mini Sony. Maybe. Mini Sony. Yeah, I believe that's a brand. So indeed, that would also be something I will, or was it? I will also exclude, right? So we have those brands that we're excluding. Mini Sony. 
and you get the drill, right? You might not want to do that if it's a lot of words down here and uh, you know if, if you don't want to go through that work I guess it won't matter if one of those keywords is not absolutely relevant but especially for the ones that appear in several of your keywords quickly make sure if it's actually relevant for your product all right so I have those in here I'm gonna filter that one more time with those excluded and that will bring me to the final 65 winners the keywords that will get to go into my PPC campaign and of course which I will also want to you know track their keyword rankings with also in Helium 10 and also you know work on the listing also in Helium 10 in the listing optimization scribbles part so you know those are the keywords I want to rank for I want to show up for those are keywords I know are highly relevant those are the keywords I know my top competitors are getting most of their sales with, right? So there you go. I think we managed to find those keywords fairly quickly in a foreign language and make sure they are relevant. And this is really the major point I want to give to you for this video. If you wanted to research for keywords in your own language, then this video is perhaps not as relevant to you because you will not want to be as restrictive generally, or you may want to use some of these other filters that are very useful to identify perhaps less competitive keywords that you will then use in your product title that you will want to focus on with your PPC. But in this video, the focus is really about making sure those keywords are relevant without understanding it. And so that is why this filter is extremely important and adding as many ASINs as you can, 10 ASINs, is extremely important and that by the way is only possible with a paid helium 10 plan otherwise you can only add one ASIN and one ASIN of course will not give you that statistical security that these keywords are relevant right it could just be ranking for any of those keywords randomly some person you know was looking for something completely different but then stumbled upon that product and bought it and that may have already been enough for it to rank a little bit higher for that keyword but it's not relevant and so you can only really make sure they are relevant by filtering for at least let's say three four or five ASINs that are ranking for those keywords and of course I won't leave you without a discount code for Helium 10 lifetime 10% with the code DDZIM PPC 10 so you definitely want to make use of that code if you sign up and you would also do me a favor, of course, and support this channel. And speaking of supporting this channel, you would, of course, also support me by hitting the like button and subscribing if you want to see more software, more knowledge all about Amazon PPC and Amazon SEO and all kinds of related things, but mostly PPC. All right, and that's it for this one. And I'll hopefully see you around in my next videos. Bye-bye.